bonne que dois-je faire avec ma vie quand toute la terre est the price of summer day. I'm starving, Yvonne. You're starving. You're thirsty. May God strike me dead if I ever had a drink. And... No, no, no. All right. No, 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 no. Go on. Here. You've been good, Bunny. You've done me a good turn. Listen. One good turn deserves another. What am I going to do by you? Do you know what I'm going to give you? I'm going to give you something special. I'm going to give you a postage stamp. <laughs> it's from Madrid. It's special. Oh, thanks very much. Don't you cut none? It's special. It's from Madrid. Ah, you've got it. I tried to get out there, in the thick of it. Me. Honest. Only it couldn't be fixed. You can have it. Thanks. Hey! Well? Let me... Let me buy you a drink. Come on. Not tonight. Good night, Mother. Better bring my oil can next time. What a game. Nothing. How are you? I'm broke. Apart from that, everything's fine. And you? Take me 1928. I've been looking through the family album. Well? Just to remind myself what I looked like before. For what? Before you knew me? Oh, that was a scream, wasn't it? A real scream. He was taken in the Luxembourg by a student I knew. He was doing chemistry. You anchor after those days? It would have been so different if I hadn't got ill. I had to give up. I'm much better, aren't I? A little. What did you do today? I needed a breath of fresh air, so I walked as far as Rudraghetti. I wanted to see Annette. What for? Just to see her. Did you? Mm-hmm. And then it began, it began to rain, so I took a taxi and came home. What have you been doing? Uh, end of term. Wound up my classes. 
I went along to the bursar's office, see if I could get an advance. Apparently, it's not done. And uh, then I saw Ivich. She's feeling a bit low at the moment. Why is that? She's going to fail her exams. I'm worried about her. You know how she is. Hmm, odd. Anyway, I had to see how she might do something silly. <laughs> what, for example? Oh, I don't know. Something rather Russian, no doubt. What? Well, she has Russian parents, so you tell me. Don't worry. She'd never mess up that delicate skin of hers. Not with a revolver shot, not little bitch. Marcel, you have No, but you've never noticed the whiteness of her flesh. Personally, I'd be afraid to touch it for fear of scratching it. No, my dear, bullets are made for tough skins like ours. I'd punk her rather well, don't you think? Nice, neat little hole just under my breast, neat and clean, with red edges. <laughs> it could be very attractive. <laughs> Oh. You're a bit nervy tonight. What's the matter? Nothing. Oh, I, I've got something to show you. Mm -hmm. The beggar s stopped me in the street on my way here. He, he gave me that. No, 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 the postman. Madrid. That's it. The Anarcho Syndicalist Committee, 41 Rue de Belleville. Mm. Was he an anarchist? I don't know. He wanted to stand me a drink. With the money you gave him. And you refused? Yes. Why? It might have been interesting. I was on my way to see you. Oh, half an hour or so late, it wouldn't have mattered. Your life is full of missed opportunities. You think so? Well, there was a time when you'd have gone miles out of your way to collect people. Well, I don't write as much as I used to. I don't feel the need. You seldom do nowadays. Anyway, he'd have got maudlin, put on the pathos. Oh, oh, poor old you. You're so afraid of anything sentimental, aren't you? Anything spontaneous in you, you suspect. It is a trifle too authentic, my dear. To say you'd just come out of a linen cupboard. The lack of shade about you. And you're addicted to self-analysis. You contemplate yourself, you criticise yourself, you tear yourself to pieces. Self-destructive, that's you. You'd like to be nothing. No. I want to be myself. Just myself. You want to be free, absolutely free. It's your vice. It's not a vice. I'm made. Well, I don't feel such a great need to be free. Marcel, you're feeling fed up. Why should I be? Tell me what's the matter. There's nothing the matter. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, we tell each other everything. Well, there's nothing you can do about it. Come on. Besides, it only upsets you. you. Tell me. Come on. All right, it's happened. What's happened? It has happened. You sure? Quite sure. I'm two months late. Oh, Christ. Oh, you know now, don't you? What are we going to do? Well, we get rid of it, don't we? Good. That's settled. I've got an address. Who from? Annette. That's why I went to see her. No, no. Annette was all messed up. It was six months before she was right again. No. So you want to be a father? Now, listen, you've suddenly sprung all this on me. We must think. I don't want you to think. It's not for you to think. Woman's business now.
I'm sorry. I need you the out breath. I've been holding it on all week. I'm not blaming you. Well, you have every right to. This old woman, where does she live? 24 Rue Marais. Mm. She only charges 400 francs. Apparently that's absurdly cheap. Oh, yeah, it's the bargain basement. That's what worries me. She doesn't charge enough. Well, lucky she doesn't. I've just about got it. 400 francs. When do you intend to see her? Tomorrow, at midnight. I gather she only sees people at night. Mm, I'll go. For you? See what she's like. Just shut the door in your face. You'll think you're the police. I shall go. If I don't know what I see, then... Then what? I am not having you messed up by some old Harriton. And if she won't do? Well, then I'll see Sarah. She'll know someone. Don't be very nice to me. Very considerate. Perhaps you'd like to be operating on instead of me, hmm? Take this off. She's pregnant. Pregnant. It's no good. We're too nervy, both of us. Just as you like. You're quite right. Well, uh, I'll go and see this other woman. Well, tonight? Mm-hmm. No time like the present. I'll call round tomorrow evening, let you know what I think. No, not tomorrow evening. Um, oh? You phone me sometime during the day. I'll be here. You're not angry with me? It's the first time in seven years we've been clever. You're not getting sick of me, I hope. Oh, don't be silly. The trouble is, I'm getting sick of myself. Sometimes I feel I'm just one big fat lump and nothing else. This time next week, it'll all be over. Promise. Pregnant is fantastic. Can't believe it. When did it happen? It must have been on Easter Monday. I wanted to give her pleasure. I felt affection, tenderness, no desire, just tenderness. And now there's something inside her, amongst all that muck in her belly. There's something alive. I mustn't forget the oil can. It's somewhere in here, struggling to live. It'll be scraped to its death with a knife. Oh, God, I must try not to hate him. I must try. Danielle wouldn't have let me down. Danielle wouldn't have done it in the first place. He's beyond sex. So good, so pure, like an archangel. Phone him, why don't you? No, that's silly. He'll be here tomorrow. Phone him. Just hear his voice. Talk to him. Then you might sleep. Is that Marcel? <laughs> yes. What a pleasant surprise. How are you, my dear? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? All the better for hearing from you. 
Well, my dear, to what do I owe the pleasure? Just to remind you about tomorrow night, that's all. Oh, as if I should forget. Evenings with you are the delight of my life. <laughs> Anything else? No, no, just that. Just to hear your voice, know you're there before I go to bed. Oh, it's just a whim, that's all. How charming of you. How perfectly charming. And how is your dear mother? <laughs> Good. Give her my love, won't you? Of course. Well, goodbye, Daniel. Until tomorrow night. Yes. Bye. Versatile, are we? I go to her for punishment. <laughs> what, the boot fetish? Spiritual punishment, aesthetic punishment. You wouldn't understand. She gets done up as a mother superior. You're the naughty choir boy. Well, we've all heard of that one, love. Be quiet on your way out, won't you? Forgetting something, aren't we? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, and it's another 50 for that uh, special bit. Yeah. I'm giving you 200 francs. Very sporting. Should we ever meet again, I don't know you. You don't know me. Right. Good night, ducky. Oh, God. I've never done it here before. Never brought one to my flat. Nothing will be the same again. No. It's not me who did it. Not me. It's that loathsome thing. It led me on. Liar. It's you. You're all filth. Mind, body, filth. I need a bath. What do you want? Police, is it? Show me a card, then. No, I'm not the police. I'm in a fix. Somebody gave me your address. Who? Annette Besnier. Annette Besnier. Oh, yes, come in. Well? I've come on behalf of a friend. A woman? Yeah. Huh. That's rich, that is. First man who's had the cheek to show his face, you are. I'll have no dealings with men, I'll tell you that. She asked me to arrange an appointment. One look at you and she should have known she'd end up in trouble. She trusted you, did she? <laughs> well, she's got what she deserves. May I see where you do the, um... Do what? Operations. Hey, who's talking about operations? What operations? If your friend wants to see me about something particular, then tell her to come by herself. I'll have no dealings with anybody else. Stop your nosing about. You've got a nerve. Treat as if she was on the streets, haven't you? What? With any decent girl, it's up to the man to see that there are no trippings up. Right? Well, let's hope I'm better at my job than you was at yours. That's all I have to say. Good night. Good night, madam. Marcel's certainly not going there. I'll go and see Sara. Yes. Scipio, my little darling, you know what's going to happen to you today? Just you wait and see. Malvina! Malvina! I've got a little surprise for you. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Uncle Daniel's taking you for a little trip. There. Papier, my beauty. I love you more than anything else in the world, my darling. That's why I'm... Oh! Damn you. If only I could torture myself. Effectively. Instead of my cats. But you can never get directly at yourself. I do try to punish myself. I'm going to see Marcel tonight. Why? Because I hate the smell of her. I hate that female fleshiness. I loathe it. When I'm with her, I feel like spewing. But the punishment is not sufficient. Not after last night. 
I brought one of them here, to this room. So you must have extra castigation, mustn't you? Do something that really hurts. You can only damage yourself through the harm you do to others. That's why I must kill my cats. Oh, I want to see Sarah. Uh, she'll be delighted. Uh, Sarah, a visitor. Why, it's Mathieu. Vemula, de, de la rue. Enchanted. So what do I owe the happy occasion? Sarah, there's uh, something I want to ask you. Anything you like. See who's here. Hello, my old <laughs> social traitor. How are you? I thought you were dead. <laughs> Sit down. Coffee? No, no. Thanks. How's going? My husband's now a colonel. What do you think of that? Colonel? I envy him. Do you? Where is he at the moment? Barcelona. I had a letter last week. Sarah, that letter. Get rid of it. Otherwise you'll have it stolen and taken to the Germans. Nonsense. Brunet's worried about the minister. Oh, minister? The little chap who let you in. He was a member of the socialist government in Munich in 1922. Why did he come here? He's a Jew. He had no money. <laughs> Another lame dog sniffed you out, hmm? If you like. The fact is the party's been getting disquieting reports about him. Six, six months ago he was seen hanging about the German embassy. Now I ask you, what was a Jewish refugee doing in such a place? You've no proof. Having him as your lodger is a stupid risk. You saw him, Mathieu. He wouldn't hurt a fly. And I'm certainly not telling him to leave because of what your party is surmises. Your party is abstract. That man is living. And he's down and out. Sir. You are the wife of a colonel fighting the fascists to the death. Oh. It's no game. Your husband sends his agents here. Here in this very room we discuss propaganda, recruiting, strategy. This is no place to harbour a spy. You decide, Mathieu. If I tell Weymuller to go, he'll probably throw himself in the Seine. Do you drive a man to suicide for a mere suspicion? He'll throw himself in the Seine, do you mean? No. He'll go straight back to the German embassy and sell himself outright. Well, Mathieu, you haven't answered the question. Well, basically, Sarah, it's whether the end justifies the means. Yes. Don't ask him. It's not his province. I respect you, Mathieu. We've known each other a long time. If it were a question of explaining a piece of Spinoza or Immanuel Kant, yes, I should apply to you. But Marxism in practice, no. I don't want opinions. Not even from a teacher of philosophy. Your mind is made up? Yes. Sarah, you'll do as you like, of course. You're not a member of the party. But if you keep Weymuller, I merely ask that when Gomez sends news, you come to my place. Certainly. And don't leave letters lying about. Burn them, please. Very well. I promise. Good. Well, Mathieu, you're looking under the weather. What's wrong? I have my worries. It's nothing serious. It's good to see you. We were at the university together, same year. Yes. We used to call ourselves the Three Musketeers. Oh, so we did. That's a bit uh, ironic when you look back on it. Oh, I don't know. We call him Portos. He's still a direct sort of chap, don't you think? <laughs> what about you, Atos, the dreamy lover? You're not so dreamy. Who was the hmm? third? Oh, what's his name? The religious one? Aramis. Yes, that's it. That's Daniel Sareno. You've met him. He's the chap who keeps all the cats. Oh, him. He's not turned into a priest, is he? <laughs> not done yet. <laughs> that's where the pattern breaks up. Mathieu, you're doing me the power of good. I'm on the move all the time. I never have a chance to see my old friends. You could die, and I'd only hear about it a month later, and then by chance. I'm not going to die yet a while. No, not yet a while. Mathieu, are you free about six o'clock? I'd like to drop in on you. Have a chat, like old times. Please do. I look forward to it. I'll see you out. Oops. He painted that, and now he's a colonel. He actually went, he read about the fall of Iran in the Paris Soir, paced up and down this studio, and then he went out, no overcoat, bare-headed, as if popping round the corner to buy some cigarettes. 
he went off to Spain to fight a war. I suppose something like this will be used on Marcel. They'll probe around inside her and kill it. No, no, not kill, not kill. Prevent its being born. Oh, don't lie to yourself, Mathieu. It's a death. You know, it's a death. That little embryo inside her has all the potential of a completed child, a man. It's all there. Limbs, flesh marks, character. Waiting to greet the world. And something like this will pierce it and explode it. Like a toy balloon. He left it unfinished. Know who it is? Uh, I... It's an American woman he was sleeping with. This too. I can forgive him everything. His treachery, his escapades, his cruelty. But not his going to Spain. He went away to kill men. Has killed men by now. Human life is sacred. What's wrong, Mathieu? <sighs> Marcel is pregnant. Oh. So you... You're going no, to... No. We don't want children. I see. I believe the same thing happened to you a few years ago. Yes. It's, uh... Nothing at all, really, if it's done in time. Look, sir, I'd like you to understand me. Um, I have no wish to marry. It's not just selfishness. I consider marriage to be a... B anyway, Marcel doesn't want children. She doesn't like children. She's not interested. Yes. Well, that's that, then. Poor Mathieu. You must be rather worried. Can I help? Yes, I think so. When you were... Yes. You went to see someone. A Russian, I believe. It was horrible. Was it? Gomez insisted. After it had come away, they gave me a little parcel. They said you can throw it down a drain. Like a dead rat. I don't think you realise what you'll do to her. Once it's over, she'll hate you. Do you hate Gomez? I can't hate anyone. Least of all Gomez. I can't send you to that Russian. He drinks nowadays. He's irresponsible. Is, um... Is there anyone else you know? Nobody. Yes, there is. There's a Dr. Waldman. He's a Jew, a gynaecologist. A specialist? He had a huge practice in Berlin. The Nazis came and he fled to Vienna, and then with the Anschluss he had to clear out. He arrived in Paris with one small suitcase. Do you think he'll do it? I'll go and see him. When? Now, if you like. Oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> is he expensive? He used to charge 2,000 marks. That's 10,000 francs. He's a first-class surgeon. Still, it's robbery. He's not established here, so I'm sure he'll be reasonable. I shall suggest 3,000. Christ. All right. Look, I'll go and slip on some clothes. He's not far. Would you like to wait here for me? I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I've got an appointment at half past ten. Your treasure. Oh, where will you be in an hour's time? At the cafe phone. I could wait there for you to ring me. All right, then let's do that. Oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> half an hour to go and the deed will be done. I shall choose a spot where the water is particularly dank and dirty. Water covered in oil from the Vitri factories, vapid and viscous. It'll drive them crazy. They'll claw each other to pieces. They're scapegoats. Or scape cats. Yes, it's an ancient ritual. Jews sacrifice newborn lambs. Christians every Easter go through the murder of Jesus Christ. 
I do it with my pussies. They shall die because they love me. And priest-like, I shall do the killing because I love them. It'll be a beautiful scene. Beautiful. And what remorse I shall feel afterwards. What torture. Yes, that's the best bit. How shall I expiate? I shall have to expiate. But let's wait till we come to it. A nice double whiskey, sir, with ice. What's that he said? He's classifying me as a double whiskey and ice man. I refuse to be categorized. I'll have a gin fizz. Sir. No, wait. I'll have a vodka and angostura with a squeeze of lemon in a balloon glass, which you'll have nicely peppered. That'll teach him. Sir. Impudent bastard. Still, mustn't blame him. I am simply too, too presentable. Obviously the double whiskey and ice, if not the cocktail type. Immaculately dressed. And that face. Suave, benign, urbane. Of course that stupid little tit thinks I'm a top dog requiring the most expensive, fashionable drink. Why not kiss him? Or better still, pull your trousers down. Show him what you've got. Shut up. Control yourself. You must control yourself. Discipline. Punishment. That's what you need. Your drink, sir. Thank you. God help me, I do believe I detect a certain jiggle in the buttocks. The old come hither. The little bitch knows you're as queer as a coot and she's sending you up. No, 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 you're wrong. Nobody suspects you. Marcel doesn't suspect you. She'd rather marry you than that lousy bastard Mathieu. Drink up. Nobody suspects you. Ah, bloody hell, fireworks. Let's get out of here. How much? Fifteen francs, sir. blood. They're cats. <coughs> A memento of love. Hello, Mathieu. Oh. for madame. Have a peppermint. You like it? Do I? Mmm. Peppermint. Yes. Is it that green gluey stuff I had the other day? I thought you liked it. I took what I was given. I shouldn't listen to you. We haven't the same taste. Waiter? No. I didn't bring it. It's nice to look at. But I shan't drink it. And anyway, I'm not thirsty. You annoyed I dragged you out this morning? I couldn't have stayed in my room anyhow. Why not? You don't know what a woman's student hostel's like. The superintendent has taken a fancy to me. She tries to stroke my hair. I hate being touched. She hates being touched. I have a problem there. It isn't that I desire her at the moment, but I shall desire her, I know it. What's the attraction? She's so much younger, a young mind, young flesh. Perhaps I'm afraid of getting old. I've been with Marcel for seven years. Love's grown cold. All the same, she's expecting a baby. Well, I'll soon settle that. I'll borrow the money from somewhere. It'll be done. It's pretty. Hmm? Yeah. I wish my eyes didn't hurt so much. Do you think it's the beginning of blindness? Last week it was your heart. You were afraid of a heart attack. Yes, well, I'm not myself at the moment. It's all this waiting for the exam results. No, I'll be out tomorrow. I failed, I know I have. You've got a cigarette? Mmm. <laughs> I wanted the smoke to look as though it came out of my hand. It would be funny to see a hand smouldering. Oh, the smoke moves too quickly. I know, it's tiresome. You still want to go and see the Gogo? What Gogo? Oh, yes, the exhibition. Well, we could do, I suppose. You don't sound excited yes, about it? Yes, yes, I am. If you don't want to go, just say so. You want to go. I've been already. I wanted to go again to take you, but if you're I'd not rather see it later. The exhibition finishes tomorrow. It'll come back again. They always do. It won't come back again for years. Why don't you come straight out with it and say you don't want to go? It's 
waiting for these results, I don't feel like seeing exhibitions. If I'm proud, I shan't go back home, that's certain. You told me your father was thinking of selling up in a couple of years, your whole family moving to Paris. Oh, my God, you're all alike. Two years in Laon. That hole, I'd like to see you there. Can't you get it into your head that would be two years stolen from me? I've only got one life. And I'm old already. I'm 21. Look, what makes you think you failed? How did you get on in the physics? Mucked it up. Yeah, but you did all right in the practical. I don't think. As for the chemistry paper, hopeless. Well, I can't remember formulae. It's all so arid. It's empty. Why? Why did you go in for medicine in the first place? To get away from home. That's why. Isn't she superb? What? That woman. Huh? There are times when I wish I was a man. Monsieur Delarue is wanted on the telephone. Monsieur Delarue. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Miss Sarah Gomez, excuse me. Where's. Monsieur Delarue? Yes, thank you, madame. Hello, is that you, Sarah? Hello once more. Well, it's all fixed up. Oh, good. Only you must hurry. He leaves on Sunday for the United States. Uh -huh. Well, I'm terribly sorry to tell you, but he wants 4,000 francs in cash. I told him you were hard up, but he wasn't interested. Yes, uh, that gives me just two days to find the money. 4,000. That's it. Yes. Well, don't don't worry, I'll find it. Well, thanks, Sarah, you're a dear. Will you be in this evening? All day. Good. I'll see you this evening then for dinner. Bye. Bye. Thank you, madame. I'll go and see Danielle. He'll lend me the money. I've known him for years. Yes, he'll lend it me. I hope. My headache is gone. Glad to hear it. We could go and see the Go Guy exhibition after all. As you will. Try and get a taxi. Don't think about them. Simply don't think about them. Oh, so you're trying not to think about them, are you? You must think about them. That's the very point of the exercise. My darling Popia is in there. She has such beautiful golden eyes. No, no, it's too much. Think of something else quickly. Anything. Stock exchange. Ah, now then. I made 10,000 francs yesterday. Got the money in my pocket. Shut up! Where were we? Ah, yes. Think of something. I'm seeing Marcel tonight. She calls me her archangel. I must appear to others to be such a lovely man. I am. Well, externally, that is. Oh, but that awful female stench Marcel has about her. I'm mortified already. And the way she hangs on to Mathieu. A pair of them know they don't love each other, but they haven't the courage to admit it. Typical examples of normal sex after a seven years stint. God help us. Will you shut up? Here's the very place. What gave me this brilliant idea? Ah, oh, yes, I remember something I read in my volume of tortures through the ages. In Constantinople, adulterous wives were put into a sack with hydrophobic cats. The cats, terrified of the water, tore the woman to pieces as all of them slowly drowned. Long now, dears. 
that. Let's look at the time. Nicely done. 30 seconds to go. On the dot of half past 11, I take the basket in my right hand and the stone in my left hand. I rise and drop them both into the river simultaneously. The basket will float for a moment or two and then bubble, bubble, bubble. Here we are. We're coming up to it. Five, four, three, two, right. I can't do it. I can't even kill myself at second hand. Well, at least it means I can't deal with myself objectively. I'm not Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde after all. There's just me. Only me. Evil, corrupt, contemptible me. Besides, I never really wanted to kill my darling Popeye. I've just been trying to picture you as a boy. I can't do it. I had curly hair. All I can imagine is that you were like you are now, only smaller. Mathieu, this is a glorious moment. What have you been fooling about doing all day? Marcel and a pregnancy? They're unimportant. Sweep them away. Right, I'm free. The moment is mine. I can feel it. Freedom. Take courage. Use your freedom. And act. Now I've done it. She'll never forgive me. I'm in love. Les mains s'étendent de toutes côtés. Les chiens sont lourdes. Puis-je les ôter? Un seul pas contre la tyrannie. Une raison d'être. Forte, mon âme est sur la peur est morte. Je sais quoi faire avec la vie quand toute la terre sera. Rare. 